What's going on YouTube? Today I'm going to show you guys how to do three different speed glitches on Skate 3 since I know a lot of people don't know how to do some of them and I'm just going to try to explain it as best as I can. So I'm going to start off with the basic cannonball speed glitch. You want to hold the right bumper and you want to start running. When you While you're running you want to jump and when you jump you want to let go of the right bumper. Now when you jump you want to hold up on the right stick while you're in the air and you're gonna do like a little cannonball motion and just basically just get back on your board when you're about to hit the ground and if you if you time it right and if you practice this a lot and you time it right you'll be able to basically do this little speed glitch every time and you get a little speed boost it's not that fast you can make it go a little bit faster if you do a high pump in the middle of your speed glitch like that it'll make you go a little bit faster you can also do it before your speed glitch and you can get a little bit of an extra speed boost but yeah that's a pretty basic easy speed glitch I'm gonna show you guys how to do the backwards man now I'm gonna show you guys how to do the backwards man speed glitch if you want to do this glitch you have to spawn off your board so you want to place a marker off your board and you just want to go back to it and you're gonna spawn off your board this only works if you're offline if you're online what you want to do is you want to bail and you want to respawn and you just want to tap your Y button if you're on Xbox and your triangle button if you're on PlayStation. Just get off your board as soon as possible. That's probably a little too slow. That, this will probably work. So, yeah. So, basically, if you're online, you're just going to want to uh, get down you don't want to bail. And you want to respawn as fast as possible and get off your board as fast as possible. If you don't, it just won't work. So, what you want to do is you want to jump. At the top of your jump, tap the right bumper. And just get on your board, like, right after. Like, a little bit after. Like, half a second after. Basically, just, just work on your timing. And you should get it down. It's pretty generous timing. So, it shouldn't be too hard. If you time it too late... That will happen if you time it too early. That will happen. So, yeah, just make sure you practice enough and it'll be pretty easy. And you can show your friends or whatever. And you'll gain insane speed. And now I'm going to show you the third speed glitch. It's called the Forge Man. Uh, for some people, this could be the hardest speed glitch. But uh, if you practice enough, it should be pretty easy. So for this forwards man speed glitch, you don't have to spawn off your board or anything. You just have to make sure that you have a gesture that you like. I have the Dunlow gesture. I think it makes you go the fastest. You can do it with any gesture though. So just make sure you have a gesture that you put to any, any D-pad location. I put it on the left D-pad. So what you want to do now is it's basically the same thing as a cannonball speed glitch you start off by running holding the right bumper when you jump you let go and you're instead of doing a cannonball you want to do a spread eagle so you want to hold down your right stick and then when you get on your board it's going to make you fly a little bit backwards and that's because you haven't done the gesture yet so now when you do your gesture you want to do your gesture like right as you're getting on your board like right as your board like touches the ground just do your gesture it's it's pretty easy just just spam it when you're about to just spam the gesture button when you're about to get on your board and it should work the timing's a little bit hard because it's a little bit different than the cannonball speed glitch but i'm like i said if you practice for like a few weeks it shouldn't be too hard for you and I still mess up from time and time again. If you do it too early, you know, you just won't do anything. And if you do it too late, you won't go that fast. You gotta get the perfect timing. And it's not as fast as the backwards man speed glitch, but it's a lot faster than the cannonball speed glitch. And if you learn these three glitches, it could be pretty fun, you know? You can just have fun with it. I'm going to show you guys that this glitch can be pretty useful for certain situations. Let's say you're playing on free skate and you get stuck down here and you can't get back up because you place your marker. So if you do the forge man speed glitch, you can actually get enough speed to skate all the way to the top of that giant slope. 
and it's pretty cool because you could show your friends you could tell them to wait at the top and then just show up and they'll be like how'd you do that what and they'll be <laughs> they'll be pretty surprised and pretty impressed so yeah it's pretty cool you can also do the backwards man to get up there but obviously it's a little harder because if you're online you have to get off your board and then you have to time it so that you get off your board at the right time and then it's actually kind of difficult because the slope kind of slows you down sometimes you have to go and hit it from a certain angle so that you can actually make it all the way up so yeah that's pretty useful you could also use this glitch to get some extra speed let's say if you're playing a game of skate on the campus entrance um, you have to do a trick right there on the little blue hump and basically if you just stand a little bit back and you do the forwards man speed glitch you could gain a lot of extra speed and when you trick off of it you could just get uh, some extra spins right there I got 720 it's actually possible to get a 900 by just spinning so I'm gonna show you right now oh well, yeah you, you get the point you could uh, get a lot of spins off of that and if you know how to get extra spins with the this finger flip right here then you can easily get 900s if you don't know I'll just show you right now if you go in the trick guide and you go to grabs and then you go to finger flips look for the BS to mute if you're on goofy this will be how you do it if you're on regular you just press LT and you uh, flick your right stick in the opposite direction so when you do that you want to make sure you're spinning in the backside direction when you spin you want to make sure it says BS and not FS so if you're on goofy you spin to the left while you're doing this and basically when you're in the air and you do the BS to mute it'll basically give you an extra spin right there I did a 540 and it counted as a 720 so if you're doing this in a game of skate it's pretty easy to get 900 all the time as long as you get a good pop right here and it actually right there I just got a 1080 it's actually possible to do a 1080 I don't suggest that you guys do the backwards man on this on this skate map if you're gonna play skate and if you want to do the backwards man just right before the timer starts counting down and you spawn in on the skate map just bail and then try to get off your board as fast as possible and then you'll be able to do the backwards man in the skate game but it's obviously a lot harder to control where you're going and when you do the trick it'll probably make you bail anyways so i just suggest you do a forwards man and it's actually it's pretty easy to just get like at least 720s or 900s if you get you don't even need that much speed if you just use the little uh bs to mute glitch it's pretty it's pretty useful you could win you could win basically any skate game if you know what you're doing so yeah that's all i have for you guys this video i'm sorry if the quality is kind of bad it's my first time doing a video like this but um i hope the tutorial helped you out and if you could take the time to subscribe and leave a like then that would be pretty appreciated but i don't know why you'd waste your time doing something like that but yeah if you need any help uh doing anything that i said in this video or if you have any suggestions on what i should show you guys next um just leave a comment and uh yeah that's pretty much it peace out